Hi everyone, this is Jarandeep Kapoor. Welcome to our new daily market analysis video. In this video, we'll look at the past one day's chart in uh, Bitcoin and also look at the options analytics for it. To, side, to see how traders are viewing Bitcoin and what movements are they predicting to happen in the future and what and how they are positioning themselves with the trades they are taking. So as we can see, uh, for the entire month of uh, September, Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin was uh, Bitcoin closed at the point where it started the month, and in the month of October, Bitcoin has been slowly trending upwards. So as we can see, Bitcoin has been slowly trending upwards, and in the past two days also, uh, we have seen green candles indicating an upward movement towards twenty nine thousand. Now, if you look at the hourly candles, in the hourly candles, we can see that on 17th of October, uh, Bitcoin rose sharply to 30,500 due to uh, fake news spread by Cointelegram regarding the approval of Bitcoin's spot ETF. Before that, Bitcoin was very silent and trading in a very narrow range in a sideways market. But after that, it has also seen some activity with Bitcoin uh, continuing to trend upwards, probably due to... Uh, that same news and uh, in hope of in future that this news comes true. Let's have a look at the options analytics now. So from the open interest chart, we can see that there is very little movement in the add the money puts and add the money and OTM puts. There is a high open interest in the puts below 26,000 a strike. And there is high open interest in the calls above the 30,000 strike. If we look at the open interest change in the past 24 hours, we can also see a similar picture that 30,000 and above calls are seeing some open interest and 26,000 puts are seeing some open interest. Apart from that, there is no not much activity in the add the money uh, calls and puts and OTM puts. Considering the volume, we can see that although there was not much open interest in these puts, but there is a lot of volume, which means that the net transactions have been settled off. The buys have cancelled out with the sells. If we have a look at the taker activity, that will give us a better idea of what trades have been taken. So as we uh, concluded above that the buys must have been settled uh, with the sells. So here we can see that... Uh, the light red lines have settled off with the dark red lines and the light green lines have been settled off with the dark green lines. So basically, uh, traders have been just settling off their positions against each other in the taker activity. That is why there was not much open interest in the ATM and OTM puts and the ATM calls. But uh, a sharp spike in the 30,000 call option of call buy. So we have seen that in the last 24 hours alone, there was roughly $2 million worth of notional calls bought. And for the 26,000 strike, we can see that there was uh, around $2 million worth of notional puts bought. So 36, uh, so 30,000 and 26,000 options have seen a lot of buying. Uh, on this, we can conclude that these type of trades can be a uh, long option. So basically traders taking long calls, long puts or long strangles or both. And the market makers have been taking the other side of the trade. If we look at the implied volatility versus realized volatility chart. So we can see that the realized volatility was trending downwards before 17th of October. After which it has risen a few points above. And if we have a look at the implied volatility chart, so implied volatility was trading around 33, 32 before this move. And even after this move had surpassed. So in the move it rose, but even after the move it is trading at 35, 36. So it has basically risen one or two points. If we have a look at the daily implied volatility and realized volatility. We can again see the same thing that after elevated uh, realized volatility of above 100 due to the move, it has settled down, but it is still higher than what it was previously. So maybe traders are expecting an upside move due to the real news which may come soon. 